Some of you may know him from his world pop days, Hazy Fantasy, but he's better known now for soundtracking top fashion shows and um, playing the music in the clubs that we all dance the night away to. And Jeremy Healy's just spent some time to have a chat with us about what's happening in his magical world. Well, I've packed a lot into it, so I guess it stretches time. When you do a lot of stuff in a short space of time, it really stretches time. Hey, man, that's beautiful. Um, <laughs> It's been fun, you know, it's been good. I'm really happy. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming to hear me and giving me your money and <laughs> making me a happy bunny. You know, it's cool. So all the production work, you're going to be doing everything with Amos? Yeah, that's right, yeah, because he likes the studio better than me. Um, I like to come out and show off. The record scene at the moment is like you're in the charts one week and then the next week you disappear and that's it. And if it takes you three months to put a record together and that, uh, it's, it's quite... You want a bit... Longer a than a week. Longevity. You want long longevity. Yeah. Yes. So um, you know, we we we're trying a different tack now, and um, I think it's coming off. I think we're getting there. Just negotiating a new record deal, and I think it's about to come off. And you know, we've we've changed our style a lot. It's more based on on rap and stuff now. So you know, it's going to be a different thing. We're not making so much house music, but we will be doing like house mixes of it. Fashion and clubbing kind of go hand in hand, and you've been. DJ at the John Galliano fashion shows. Was that where you met him in a club? No, I met him at his degree show uh, at St Martin's. He used to go to college there. So that's quite the a few years ago then. 14 years ago we've been working together. Um, and what happened was a, a, my girlfriend at the time was modelling in the show and uh, she said, come down, come down, it's a really mad guy, you've got to see this, right? And I was like, mm, I don't know. But um, I went there and uh, she came down the catwalk, she had big clogs on, a tree in her hair, and she was waving a dead fish, which she threw at me, and I was just like, what? You know, it was really <laughs> mad. Cheers. Uh, it was a crazy show, and it was over in like five minutes, and then I went back, and uh, John just came up to me, and he said, I know who you are, because cause I used to do scratch mixing and everything right. like that, and he said, I really want to work with you, and we've worked together ever since. So when you DJ at some of his shows, do you kind of know the clothes and what the what the girls are going to be their kind of stance what they're going to be doing beforehand so you know how they're going to be feeling yeah we have you know we have different themes obviously he looks at stuff you know off a lot of it is historical or ethnic and i look into the periods of music and see what i can get into and, and remix them we do we remix them all on computer now and and do sort of new versions of it the DJing at a fashion show and preparing that whole kind of thing do you get paid a lot more money um, well, I mean, with John, uh, it's a pretty rocky business, the fashion business, and you're either on top or you're out of the game, you know, so... Um, you have to work been, with him. Well, we've been through everything. I mean, he, he's been, he was homeless and, and, you know, sleeping on my sofa. He used to come around all these clubs, you know, because nobody would give him a job in England. And now, of course, he's, um, you know, the king right. of fashion now, so he doesn't have to do that anymore.